welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be checking out Jaden Animations, My Birds Laid Eggs. Who likes birds, bro? I just like the interesting things about birds, how they just come together, they take care of each other, they fly together, they just unique. But hey, man, I know her story is gonna be good. But if you're new to the channel, hit the like button, please subscribe, watch the full video, don't skip. But no further ado, let's get straight into it, y'all. Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've had a story to tell. But I have a story to tell, and it's because my birds accidentally laid eggs together without my consent. Yeah, okay, accidentally. So back up. I'm sure the majority of you know this guy right here, Ari. Classic piece in the Jaden Animations lore. Yeah, we if you know, don't know Ari. Him, you don't know me. I keep Ari in his own room because he destroys literally anything if he has access to it. In a way, you could call it a containment Not room. Not the straight but when jacket. I'm not around to give him attention, <laughs> I wanted to make sure he has a friend around and isn't just sitting there all alone and pitiful like. So back in October 2019, I got tofu which oh, oh my god okay, i'm just realizing is much longer ago than i thought tofu i thought you were still just a baby she definitely isn't as well known as ari but Ari's we're famous. talking about her now <laughs> i was so nervous back when tofu first arrived because i obviously hadn't gotten any other pets before and it was really important that she and ari actually got along birds can be pretty particular and some just flat out hate each other for no apparent reason some sort of bird drama or something i don't know i was worried my birds were gonna mean girls each other and then suddenly <laughs> i'd have two singular birds which then doubles my original problem i went through the typical process you're supposed to do to introduce them keep them in separate areas for a bit let them kind of see each other slowly see each introduce other. them in small doses hey, well, and that's suddenly they're best though. friends okay i was so happy plan b of having to get four birds was now not necessary so great everything was going according to plan i have two birds that can keep each other company when i'm not around nothing could possibly go wrong when there's a pair of animals yep, that get along fighting. very well it was a peaceful happy three years of two birds who were besties until this past spring where everything went wrong how could this happen i walked into the birds room to give them their morning food and on their dresser i find three tiny little eggs whoa oh, they made babies oh. and by the way when i say tiny i mean you would be shocked to see how small bird eggs can be these things were the size of a quarter some of you may be thinking Jaden, why is this a bad thing? Jaden, it's the gift of life. This is a beautiful moment of miracles. Yeah, it's a gift okay, of life. Sure, we love that. <laughs> actually, no. First of all, I don't want more birds, especially fragile little fresh out the egg ones. Remember when I was worried I'd have to get four birds if Ari and Tofu didn't like each other? Why am I experiencing the same dilemma again? Two birds is already enough, especially since one of them has devoted his entire life to being a full-time bastard. Anyone who has a gremlin <laughs> pet understands that that creature is bastard. equal to like three pets worth of energy. It's a lot to handle at all times, and if my plate gets any more full, I'll unlock alcoholism. Second of all, this is now my problem that I need to handle ASAP. I can't be like, oh, I'm, I'm busy right now. I'll deal with it later. No, procrastinating would only lead to possible hatching. Not 100%. Yeah, hatching out of nowhere when you're just later. busy. Which leads back <laughs> to my prior statement that I've stated multiple times at this point of I don't want more birds immediately i was like how did this happen i've been preventing them from laying eggs together for so long what changed unlike cats and dogs birds can't really be neutered at least not easily you could give them like monthly hormone shots or there's other stuff but it's just really complicated and you're better off simply making sure their environment is set up in a way to discourage nesting and egg laying behavior there's a few things you could do to prevent it but to sum things up basically don't let the birds nest. If they find a dark little hidey hole, they'll start treating it like a nest and get hormonal, and mm, suddenly you've got eggs. I didn't know that. No nesting, for the most part, no problem. I looked around the room and was so confused. All they had in there were their cages, climbing tree, and a drawer I bought to hold all their bird stuff. And the eggs were just on the top of the drawer too, not even in a safe burrowed nest like yeah, that's place. Not safe. When it already rolled <laughs> off the side and cracked open on the floor like an omelet. Tofu, this is not even close to motherly instincts. After a bit of snooping around, <laughs> I pulled the drawer back from the wall to realize, oh my god, these birds have been secretly burrowing into the back of this drawer like they were plotting a prison escape. So what? It's like they purposely put themselves in there, like she said, like a prison escape. Like birds will make a nest out of anything, a shoe, anything like she said, that's dark. I used to have birds, but like they obviously stayed in a cage, but I'm just letting you know, if you got birds, just watch out for them, man. Make sure, watch what they're doing, man. 
Somehow, Ari and Tofu squeezed their tiny bodies in between the drawer and the wall and started chewing the back That's of it wild. to get into the drawers from behind. They literally gnawed through it like the nematodes in SpongeBob. You, you should have seen all the sawdust on the floor. Well, wow, here's they a actually picture, chewed it through it. Justice. It looked like a construction site and smelled like, like home termites got into Suddenly it. Suddenly, <laughs> it made sense. They were using the drawer as a secret nest. Whenever I was in the room, they were out and about. Hi, mom. Please give us seeds. Nothing serious is going on. I leave and boom, straight to the forbidden nesting drawer they go. Criminals. As I'm connecting the dots on how we got to this point, I realized I don't even know which one of these knuckleheads even laid the eggs. When I got tofu, I made sure she was a girl. A little lady. I talked to one of my bird knowledgeable friends when no, I was considering I'm like a boy, getting another, man. and she recommended a female bird because there was a higher chance Ari would get along with her more than a male bird. So Tofu has been DNA checked and female certified. However, way back when I got Ari, I never got him slash her checked. Green cheek conure genders can only be confirmed through DNA tests, and there wasn't really any important reason to know Ari's gender at the time. So I just didn't. Over the years, I've just started calling him my big man because big man. the way he acted <laughs> and behaviors he displayed felt very obnoxiously masculine. But it was always more of a gut feeling above anything else. But I am now facing a possible reality that my bird I've had for seven years that I've been headcanoning is male could have been female this whole time and is the potential mother of these confusing eggs. Because yes, Birds don't need a male around to lay eggs. Yeah, Think they don't. about it like chickens. They just be laying eggs out the wazoo without a rooster in sight. They don't care. Boom, egg. If it's a girl <laughs> bird, Boom, that egg. thing can lay eggs whether you or a male bird wants it to or not. So in this situation, Ari possibly being a girl is the thing that's blowing oh, so my innocent, mind the yo. most. But one quick peek at their little bird booty hole swiftly gave me the answer. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 Jet Animation, peep at the booty hole, okay, oh, I, I get what you're trying to make with your point, but hey, man, hey, hey, this is making me laugh, bro, she's funny, bro. It was definitely tofu. If you know, you know, I'm just saying, laying three eggs a quarter the size of your whole body biologically does something to you. Anyway, yeah, it messed uh, you up, I immediately honestly. booked a vet visit for tofu. Laying eggs drains birds of their calcium and overall health, so I wanted to make sure she was generally okay. The vet took a look at her and was like, she looks fine, she's acting fine, we'll give her some vitamins, but she's still got more eggs in her. What? what? She Tofu, got more how action. many of those things you're gonna cook up? Also, we gotta limit this whole ordeal to as minimal. I feel so bad for her because she says she don't want more than two birds. She got more inside her. She's cooking up, man. Like going crazy with it, man. That's one thing about pets, man. You just never know how many eggs they can lay, man. Just be responsible, y'all, and be prepared if you're gonna get animals like this, man possible please because that vet bill was not fun we can't be making this a routine occurrence it's no mystery laying eggs can also be pretty dangerous for birds there's a chance it could get stuck and the bird just dies Ooh. and to be honest i really didn't oh. want that to happen so every egg meant an extra mountain of stress and anxiety for me yippee the vet told me conyers typically lay eggs every other day so once she goes every a few other days day. without laying any then i can come back and get her another checkup to really make sure she's all good so i let time pass and in total tofu ended up laying eight Eight. Freaking eggs. Eight eggs. She was not supposed to lay that many. Normally, Conyers lay clutches of like four or five. So she basically laid two birds worth of eggs. I, I don't know what to do. But all right, she's finally done. We can now move on to the second step in the what to do when your bird lays eggs without your permission plan. I have to swap out the eggs. Real for eggs fake and fake eggs. If I okay. just yoink Tofu's eggs away, she's going to be like... What the f- My eggs, dude, what the <laughs> hell? I just laid those. And she's biologically programmed to start laying more to replace them. Luckily, my friends Jordan and Kelsey had some fake conure eggs because coincidentally, their bird laid eggs like six months prior to tofu, so they already went through this process and were definitely supplying me with mental support. They lent me their fake eggs, I swapped them out, and perfect. Tofu is now trying to be a mother of eight balls of plastic. After a few weeks of them not hatching, she'll move bird. on, forget all 
about him and everything will return to normal. It was a successful heist. As in, I gave them both treats, stole all their eggs right in front of them, and they did not notice. You might be realizing, even though Tofu's eggs won't hatch, I still am in possession of actual real bird eggs that yeah, may do. or may not be fertilized. Yep, as much as Ari could have been the mother, he could also be the father. I we don't know. You're not drama. the dad. The father more like is there even a father? After consulting with the vet and various bird resources, I basically had to make sure no birds could start growing in them just in case. Even though it's very likely they were just empty little chicken eggs, we couldn't run the risk. By the various resources aforementioned, I was given a few options. I was told I could smash them, which felt a tad bit too violent for me. Oh, Tofu, are these your little eggs? The first eggs you've ever laid in your life? Oh, shoot, smash. Oh, okay. <laughs> Absolutely not. I could freeze them, just put them in a little container, pop them in the freezer, and there you go. But the last option, which sounded the most insane in my opinion, was to boil them. Whoa, boil them. Boiled eggs. Why does that one sound the most deranged and psychopathic? I know. Wow, boiling eggs. I mean, honestly, back then I used to eat boiled eggs on the stove, but like, it's going to be very tempting to eat them. <laughs> Would you eat the boiled eggs? Because like, bro, boiling the eggs is crazy, bro. People consume all types of bird eggs all over the world, but boiling my own Conyers eggs just feels way past the line in yeah, mental Yeah, it does. Sounds so insanity. I popped them in the freezer to hang on to whatever humanity I had left after all this, and they've been there ever since. I, I still have them. I'll go to grab a popsicle and be like, oh, hello, tofu eggs. I don't know. Even though they won't hatch, they, they still feel special. They're my little baby tofu's little baby eggs. I don't want to just throw them away like they're nothing. I'll just keep them in my freezer forever because that's somehow the most sane option I was given. Some people might be like, Jaden, you should have tried to let them hatch. But you do not understand. I am absolutely, definitely not qualified to raise baby birds. I promise <laughs> <laughs> this was the best thing to do for everyone. For me, for the eggs, for Ari and Tofu. Ari and Tofu. God knows Ari would have been an awful father. Whoa, awful, awful father. So that's He's what mad. I've been dealing with over the past few months. Tofu's fine now. She's essentially back to normal. I have since removed the secret nest drawer they have claimed. I'm sure they weren't too happy about that one, but hey, you reap what you sow. People will tell me, oh, you're the reason I want a bird. And I always think to myself, man... Well, that's unfortunate. Birds the is a hassle, y'all. people are not suited to own a bird. Case one, they can cut through furniture like chainsaws. Case two, they could lay eggs and curse you to put them in the freezer like the egg murderer you are. Or, or worse, I oh, love boy, my huh? birds with all my heart. <laughs> but if anyone ever asks me if they make good pets, I turn into the biggest hater. And if you're a good bird owner, You'd probably agree with me. Birds are beautiful, intelligent, loyal companions. But they're also knife tornadoes who can force you to question your own mortality as you spend a fortune on vet bills. Thanks for watching. Hey, by the way, do you want to see me in person in the flesh? James Ross, okay. Dom, Aaron, and I are all going back on tour again. Oh, Imagine back on going tour. to a funny improv drawing comedy show, but there's no children. And I swear, live on stage, right in front of you. That's right, if you're 18 plus, you should grab tickets to our Scribble Showdown After Ooh, Dark okay. show. Check after out dark. ScribbleShowdown.com to see if we're coming to a town near you. I hope to see you there, and also, happy almost 2024. Time is but an illusion, and we're all Time is illusion, too fast man. for our souls to truly absorb the meaning of life. I hope you enjoyed the little story about my birds. Bye-bye. Dang, that was... Time is but... That was amazing. Jenna, you know, she always got the best content, bro. I don't know nobody who could tell a story like her and make it so funny, especially with the great animations. But yeah, man, I love birds, though I had birds before. If you're a bird owner, say, hey, I own birds. Or if you want to have birds, put in a conversation at like, really do. But don't be discouraged by this video to not own a bird. Birds are actually fun. But if you don't want to raise other birds, just get one. Don't have two so they can make kids. But I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new. I love you guys. And more Jenna an animation reactions coming soon. And more animations. And tell me what I should react to next in the comment section. I love you guys. And everybody have an amazing day. Love you guys. Subscribe. Let's go.